everybody hello hello and welcome it's the start of a new project i do have several other projects on the go so don't worry none of them will be forgotten um, the infinity journals i'm particularly enjoying doing at the moment but we've got to the end of our entire edith holden country diary book that we turned into ephemera every last bit of it was used um, so I'm really delighted to have got to the end of that and to be able to start something new. And what I've decided to do <laughs> might be a bit of a big ask, but I'm, I'm going to give it a go. Down the side of me, down to my right, I'm pointing as if you could see it. Well, actually, all behind me is a bank of drawers. And the ones on the right hand side, I tend to keep things that are labelled as toppers. They could be anything. And a lot of it that goes into these drawers are things that I've seen on Ali, I thought looked really cute, really nice, and I'd like them. And then they get here and it's like, oh, well, it doesn't fit in with the project I'm doing at the moment. I'll pop it in the drawer and I'll use it later. And they never seem to surface ever again. So this is the top drawer out of my bank of drawers. And we'll see how far we get with whatever's inside it. Um, if we get to the end of that and we're still going strong, there's another six drawers down there to go at. But I don't want to really, don't want to be nicking things from other drawers, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Just, I want to use this. I'm also going to supplement it with some book pages, ordinary book page, and some music paper. Also, probably things like, you know, stamps and um, lace, those sort of things, but not anything like this. Anything like this has got to come out of this drawer. So let's have a quick look through. Well, let's take our time and have a dally through it, shall we? So this definitely came from Ali. It's called Antique Papers, and the, there's all sorts of sizes of them. And they're all very, very thin. They're like collage paper. Um, but they say, you know, postcard and stuff like that. Perfect. Perfect fodder for us. So let's put those away. Perfect. Uh, stickers. I've got a thing about stickers. I mean, I've got to come clean to you. I've got a thing about stickers. Anytime I put an order into Ali, I think, oh, I'll just order some more stickers because I get through them. Well, I don't really get through them. I hardly ever use stickers. But I like the idea of having them. That's the thing. So I've got a pack of stickers and they are kind of floral and leafy and whatever. Some of them aren't even in the right packet, but, you know, that's floral, leafy stickers. And guess what? <laughs> another, another pack of stickers this has got a couple of packs mixed up in it I don't know I, it's got stickers in it anyway okay so the stickers in there I've got a Tim Holtz big chat book they're the big words yeah they're the they're the big words which, which I like better than the small ones if I'm honest with you um I think I might have about three books of this so it's going on everything. It's not like me. I don't normally put sentiments or words or anything on my work. But this has got to be used up. So it's in white. Yeah, white and black. So the white, I might just um, put some, get my brush and put some vintage photo over that just to dull it down a bit. Or I might leave it. We'll see. We'll see what, what goes. Oh, look at this. Another pack of stickers. <laughs> Oh, my name's Fiona and I'm addicted to buying stickers. <laughs> it hasn't been very long since I ordered the last lot. In fact, they're on their way to me as we speak. Oh, my goodness. Um, so, yeah, more stickers. And would you believe it? Even more stickers. Oh, my goodness me. Uh, these are oh, now these are just beautiful. These are little envelopes made out of craft that Violet made for me. That they are, they're amazing, and I've saved them. It's tiny little ones. Whoa! Don't fall off there. These look at these tiny little ones. 
and inside each one she's put a little card. She's amazing. I'm so grateful to get these. This one just clips into there and there's some larger ones. All different shapes and everything larger so yeah they, they are very very useful I'm very grateful to her so yeah I'm sure we can use those up uh, these mister I've got from a charity shop not that long ago actually um, and they are they're just paper and I think they're to make those paper chains with you know when you have a party or whatever I don't know we don't have parties uh, and they're made to look like tape measures, as you can see. And on the back, they have, like, sayings. Life is not measured by the number of breaths we take, but by the number of moments that take our breath away. <laughs> there you go. I'll be using the tape measure side, not the very twee little saying side. So I'll see if I can get that back in there. What's the odds? Nil. Nil is the odds. Okay. So that's that. This, what's that? Oh, it's a little Timmy envelope I've made at some stage. It's kind of upside down, but never mind, it might come in. Uh, frames. Yeah, frames are another thing I have a bit of a thing about. <laughs> I don't know if we'll use them. I don't know, we might. Uh, this. This rumoured flower letter. Yeah, it's come from China. Have a good day. Excellent. I'll try. So this is, is this a pad or are they separate papers? I think it's a pad, but these are the papers. They're just gorgeous, aren't they? They really are gorgeous. There's loads. I don't know if it says how many. 50. 50 pages of that alone. Uh, what's in here then? Vintage tag. Sometimes the boxes are as nice as what's inside, to be honest. All right, okay, let's have a look. Right, so there's some craft. All oh, right, and they're all little tags with flower. Oh, uh, um, Happy New Year to you. Okay. There, look, look at that. It's gorgeous. They're really nice. I, I don't honestly remember seeing these. Whoops. One on the floor. One for the cleaner. Yeah, th these are really nice. And I'm sure they'll come in useful. And then we've got the white versions. Oh, look. Pretty. Aren't they pretty? Yes, they are. Lovely, 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 lovely. Right, want those to get used up as well, don't we? Uh, this, which I'm sure came with a Your Creative Studio pack. It's just all different sorts of paper. And they're very thin, so they're very collageable. The Bible of Roses. He was nicknamed the Raphael of Flowers, Pierre Joseph Redoute. Oh, that's interesting because I, I did a painting once that was based on one of his paintings. A vase of flowers it was actually. All oh, right, so these are two there. But they're quite thick card. But they're nice, aren't they? They are perfect journaling cards. You don't even have to back the the back because it just tells you about about the flower on the back. They're nice journaling cards, I think. Round the edges off, sew around them. Bob's your uncle. So there, pack of numbers. Okay. Um, I think the last time I used these was a couple of years ago. I painted them and they look quite nice. So, yeah, is that? Oh, more frames. 
<laughs> I told you I've got a thing about frames. There's, uh, I don't know if there's four, six. It's a pack of six that I obviously felt the need to buy. I don't like the colours of them, so they're going to have to be painted, or I could use that side, I suppose. But anyway, we've got them. And uh, guess what? <laughs> More frames. Uh, these have come from a, a craft a charity shop, I think, but they're nice. Yeah, very nice. We're not short of the odd frame. Oh, a bit of Timmy in here. Uh, ephemera pack number strips. Yeah, I like these. They're just, as it says, strips with numbers and stuff on. So yeah, I like those. They're nice. Uh, this definitely came with a creative thingy. What do you call it? Creative studio. Yeah. Uh, and they're like tickets. They're, they're beautiful. Some of them not so much, but some. I mean, look at that one. There you go. They're gorgeous. So I'm sure, sure, sure we can find somewhere to pop those in ephemera. Uh, this roller washi. That's odd because all my other washi's in a different drawer, but never mind. This is stamps. It's perforated. Oh, you're a long way away today, aren't you? Um, here's Mr. F coming to sort us. To sort us out. Creaky floorboards. There we go. That's lovely. So, yeah, you can see these are uh, stamps. See a bit better now. There you go. So, whether we need them or not and oh a box of labels just what we need oh well i don't know they're all different sizes some have got things on them so yeah they could come in useful uh what's this oh it looks like another one of those books actually oh my goodness we're going to be making ephemera forever in a day what's this one it's a bit more shabby this one i think Oh, they're nice. Oh, they are gorgeous. I'm not going to put them back in there because they'll just annoy me every time I want to get them out. Um, <laughs> yeah, here we go. What's this then? Well, it's some stickers. These are the shiny stickers, but actually I don't mind them. They're quite nice. And these seem to be in shades of pink and light purple. These... Yeah, I remember buying these. I can't remember, however, what I thought I was going to do with them. They're like enamel little spots. Enamel dots, in fact. Um, oh, they, they're they using them for the centre of flowers. But, you know, you could use them for anything. Definitely. Oh, I've still got loads in here. Um, that looks like a book. I'll be so pleased to get some of this used up because, you know, as you can see, loads of it is really nice. It doesn't deserve to be shoved in there. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Gorgeous backgrounds. Fabulous. I don't think anything's ever been taken out of there. And then here it looks like it's the same, the same but different. The same but different colourway. Yeah. Oh, oh, look at that. I love it. Oh, look at that. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Where next? Here. So this is a book of stamps. Little self adhesive stamps. Nice. And here. <laughs> Yes, it's a book of stamps. There we go. They're nice though, aren't they? Here. Oh no, this I have used bits off. It's just it's just a book of little pieces of paper. But sometimes that's all you need. You know, just a little bit. So I've I found that helpful in the past, but I haven't seen it for 
who knows how long. And yes, another book of stamps. Yeah, very nice. And here, oh, it's another one of those little books, but these are all vellum. Every last bit in here is vellum. Oh, nice one with birds on. Yeah, I mean, sometimes that's just what you need. Just a little bit of something. What's this? Let's have a look at this. Oh, that's the wrong end. Right. Envelope. Beauty blossoms from the inside. That is so true. Beauty blossoms from the inside. Yeah, I still agree with it. <laughs> it's another envelope, just slightly larger. Don't know what that was. Nice piece of like collage paper. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Nice. Oh, a double sized piece, which I guess goes in this big envelope. Well, that's quite nice, isn't it? I quite like that set. No idea what we're going to do with it. It's probably pretty much done, to be honest. Might just include it as is. But then again, we might make something from it. I don't know. Don't know yet. There we go. God, there's a lot of stuff in this in this one little drawer. Uh, that there looks exactly the same as this, but in pink. Very, very pretty. Oh yes, we've got some stickers this time, purple ones. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> and some stickers. Oh. I feel sorry for myself and some stickers some butterfly stickers some are plain and some have got gold around them wow lovely um, couple of chipboard tags what's this I think it's a little pull thing, yeah. All right, okay. So it's got loads of pieces of, loads of pieces of stuff in it. Oh my goodness me. These are the sort of things I used to buy from Ali when they were absolutely next to nothing. And I'd just take a gamble on them, you know, and order them. Um, and then, of course, they got here and I couldn't think what to do with them. So they just ended up in a drawer somewhere. But now the day of reckoning has come. And they need to be used. And here's another one. I don't know if it's the same. It's possible. It's hard to tell if it's identical or in any way different. Uh, then here. This is just... Like... Oh, different sorts of paper, I guess. That's what it is. Yeah, okay. What's in here? Ah, yeah, I remember this. I think this came with uh, your creative studio. It's just all different sorts of labels, tickets, you know, that sort of thing. Useful stuff. Uh, what is this? All oh, right, okay, this is loads of paper. Oh my goodness, look at it, it's gorgeous, look at that. Oh my, there's some pretty, pretty papers here. There's one there that I passed that I'm trying to find to show you, which I'm probably never going to find again. I think it was that one, isn't it lovely? There's some gorgeous papers here. Oh, the blues are lovely. It's going to take us forever, isn't it, to get through, 
through everything we've got here. I think maybe I should have pared it down a bit, but I didn't. I just pulled the drawer out. This is what's in it, so this is what we're going to use. Um, these stickers. Yeah, I think they're slightly different stickers in as much as they're not flowers or anything, but the stickers just the same. Mountain Peak Forest. Some berries. Some lavender. Yeah, there's all sorts of things in here. Carnations. Chrysanthemum. Yeah, there's just all sorts of nice though, actually. I quite like them. A bunch of flowers. Camellia. Yeah, quite like those. I can see us using those. There we go. Um, what's this? I think that's a bit out of the vellum book, actually. Don't tell me it's another book of stamps. It's another book of stamps. Oh my goodness. What's this? Dunno. It says original sticker brick, so there's stickers. Oh, the labels and stickers. Okay, so there's... Are they all one colour? I don't think so. There's green, blue and red. They might come in useful for like um, postal sort of stuff. I don't know where that came from. <coughs> right, these little flip books with various papers and all sorts of stuff on them. Quite useful in a way. And another one of those, same but different. <laughs> oh, this is prettier. It's got flowers in. Yeah, that's all floral. I like that one. And this, which is all vellum. Some plain vellum at the back. Oh, look, these are lovely. Lovely, 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 lovely. Really nice. What's that? I don't know. Wake up. Are they stickers? Yeah, they are. Uh, wake up and dream. All right. Okay. Uh, this. Now this is wildflower. Um, I've, I've got this. I bought this set off Etsy. So. Yeah, that's not too clever. Um, I think Lorna does it and my porch prince does it and I made a journal out of this not all of them are but a lot of them are the ones yeah nice though Put that back in there what else have we got oh look we've got some stickers Oh, for pity's sake, everything's going to have to have multiple stickers on it. And in here, yeah, there's a surprise. We've got stickers. Oh, my goodness me. I was mad. I'm sticker mad. And there's just some odds and ends that's come out of various things. So that's what we've got to work with, guys. A book page, music pa paper, cream lace, and all of this bountiful stuff which it has to be said there's a lot I mean it, I'd got to the stage where I couldn't get my door my door <laughs> the door on my drawer the uh, drawer shut I just I couldn't I couldn't get it shut at all so um, something's got to be done with it hasn't it when you get to that stage it's not the only drawer in that situation I can tell you Gonna have to use up a lot of stamps. I would say we're not short of the odd stamp. I don't know where I'm gonna use these, but maybe you know. Tickets, they're lovely. These papers are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna leave those out, I really like them. Frames, frames, frames. 
I have to laugh at myself, either that or just pity myself. I mean, I, you know, I've obviously got a severe problem. Lovely, they're, they're so nice. I can see why I bought some of these things. Just come on, it's time to use them. So let's pile all these back into here. Try and remember what we've got in here, otherwise we're going to be in the same predicament. And, and there we are. That's right. Oh yeah, the post got them. So that's it. It all see even that fits more more neatly than it did. So. I'm, ju I'm just going to make one project today just to kick us off and I thought I'd start by using an, an envelope these are just the ordinary envelopes that I use I get them from paper mill direct the, I say ordinary they're actually quite nice quality envelopes and I'm just going to start by sticking it down and before I stick it down I'm just going to Try and open it and just make a hole in it so when we stick it down it doesn't go all puffy and I'm sorry but I'm going to be using this glue and I haven't quite got the hang of putting the end in it yet so it's going to take slightly longer than normal while I faddle around with the end I tell you what if you're in the UK I highly recommend these apart from the sort of faff of getting the pointer in the in the hole the pin in the hole which is only exacerbated by the fact I'm making a video oh come on I think for videos I'm gonna to have to use my old one because this just isn't it's just not good enough is it <laughs> I'll just have to use my original one I think so let's fold that over and shut that up and there we are and I thought for this project I'd use vintage ink, vintage ink, yeah, <laughs> vintage photo, and I'm going to use the Distress, because that way that'll go over craft and everything. And I've looked at some cream uh, crochet lace, and that's it, that's all I've done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this that I've kept out. A really nice piece of vellum that actually and I'm so short of stuff I really want to save it <laughs> well it's torn there now but it's really nice come on get real throw it in the bin right so let's see let's find a piece of paper is it wide enough ah kind of it'll be okay I think so let's for our first one let's select a really really pretty one they're all really pretty. That's kind of nice. Ooh, that's nice. These look like Sherry Mitchell's designs to me. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm going with that one. I love it. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to stick that there. And as you can see, it doesn't go right to the edges, but that, that's okay. We can live with that. Because what I could do is put either some book page or some music page behind it. Let's tear out a piece of book page and just have a look and see what it looks like. On book page. Oh, that's barely wide enough either. does look quite nice though. Is that wide enough? Not, not really, well, yeah, I'll say yes. I'll say yes, it's wide enough. Um, I need the Jolly Green Giant. I just want to trim up to the 
to the start of the words just leave a little little gap There we go. So I'm just going to make one thing today um, and then we'll start in earnest very soon. Let's try that. I think that looks okay. I'll be so happy to get a drawer cleaned out. I can't tell you how happy I'll be. Right, so how long do we want it? Is that going to look all right on there? Yeah, it's going to look lovely. Um, so I want it pencil, pencil, pencil. I think it's under here. Yes. So I'm just going to cut that off there. Lovely. I'm going to get rid of my book scraps as I go, otherwise I'm, at the end I'm going to have 20,000 scraps made of book. Let's put that under there as well, out my way for the moment. So I've made that too wide now. Marginally, but it's okay. Right, so what I'm going to... No. Yeah, it will be okay, because I can ink around it. So that's going to go on there. Oh, yeah, it's going to be pretty. So I'll use my collal to stick this down with. I don't want to go too near the edges because I do want to sew this. I'm kind of making a rod for my own back really, stitching everything, but I do think it looks really nice when you stitch. Like we did with the Edith stuff. Just looks really, really nice. So there we are, there's that. Now I'm going to have to trim. Oh, I thought I had to trim up that side, but there's nothing to trim. Perfect size. Blimey. Right, so that's that. Now this I am going to ink before I put it down, because I won't have a chance to ink it afterwards. Dauber, thank you. This paper is just so pretty. It's stunning. I should think it's probably going to take us a year to get through all, all this stuff in that drawer. It's quite thin, this paper, so it's a bit dodgy to ink. I might, I might, it works out, love. I might want to go around twice, actually. Yeah, I don't need to do the bottom. Right. So that's going to go there like that. That looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. So we can stick this one down. I'm going to use my... I haven't got much left in here. Now I know I'm going to need to use it. I'll get Mr. S to fill it up again. So I'm not going near the edges because I'm going to sew around the edges of this one too. So I'll just get it where I want it. Just about there. Touch over this way, maybe. No, it's stuck down now. So wherever it is, is wherever it is. There we go. Now, I think before I make the bottom part, I'm going to have to stitch around this. 
but I can probably d uh, do the bottom part and maybe if there's anything I need to stitch it and do it as well. So I'm just folding that up. I'm going to make a nice library pocket here. Um, and do I want to use the same paper or something out of my my massive drawer of papers? Oh my goodness, I mean, I've got so much. It, it's hard, isn't it, when you've got this much because you just can't decide what you want to use. Let's have a look at these. There were some pretty ones in here, wasn't there? Are they big enough? No, but I could use two. I could, I could collage. Let's have a look at the green ones. Bet the green ones go first. Let's get into the start of the green and the end of the green. There we go. So what have I got? Oh, that's nice to start with. Isn't it? Oh, come on. Don't say you're going to go through each one. No, not going to go through each one. Some aren't suitable. That's too blue, for example. That's too thistly. <laughs> Pretty, isn't it? Yeah, quite like that. Oh, like that, but it's just a bit too bluey green. That's quite nice. Ah, this one. Look at this one. Yes, that one and that one. That, those are the ones. Let's just check I'm not missing out on anything. I don't think so. Right. Let's pop those away. Let's try and be a little bit tidy because I tell you, you'd end up in a right mess. And you wouldn't know where anything is then. So what I'm thinking is just... Putting that sort of there. Yeah, I'm going to miss out on that beautiful flower though, aren't I? Mm, I'm going to put these back. I'm going <coughs> to stick with the... I'm going to put book page on, I think and maybe a butterfly sticker i've got to use these stickers up i've got so many of them it's ridiculous so um another one of these pages out of here probably another sort of creamy that's the same as the one we've got it should be called come dither with me come dither with me that's a nice one leave my hand there because I like that oh I like all of these I love them I just love them I love them so much that's quite nice let's use that one excellent right so that's going to go there I probably need some book page down before I put that down so let's get the oh where's the bit that I threw out who knows who knows where that went? Well, because I surely don't. But let's get another page out anyway. I need to get another book actually because this one's not entirely suitable. It's a Kathy Reich's book. And she writes all about murder and stuff like that. So it's not really the most suitable. Let's just cut that there on a full, fullish line there. See how much of this we need. Need it to come right to the top. So 
there. Don't know why I'm working off the desk in midair. It's not exactly perfect situation. And there we go. Keep that because that is a decent size. And then I want to cut this off just at the side of the words like I did the last time. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be alright. Are you going to fit on there nicely? Of course you are. Right, let's just ink around that first before we stick it down. Make life a tad easier for ourselves. I'm, I'm always excited when I start a new project, but I'm kind of doubly excited this time because there's no, no expectations. You know, I didn't know what was in that box. I genuinely did not know. Um, some of the things I haven't seen since I bought them, probably, I would guess. I bought them, opened them, thought, oh, that's lovely. I'll use that later, put it in the drawer, and it's never, never seen the light of day since. So I'm excited to see all the things because it's like I've been on a shopping trip. Shop your stash. There we go. That's that. It's just a little bit long, I think. But that's easily sorted. We can just trim along the bottom. Don't trim through your envelope. There we go. Oh, that's so nice. So, so nice. So, I want a piece for here. Maybe I might get away with a small little sticker if I've got one. I've just torn the top of that getting it out of the book, so I'm just going to straighten that off. I'm going to try and straighten that off. There we go. Just see how long I want this bit to be. going to leave a little margin at the bottom so I want it about there I love book page don't you it's it's oh I don't know I love it I love it with decoupage on it and I love when you paint on it as well I really like that too I'm gonna need a box aren't I for my remnants yes it doesn't look square Mm, it is. My eyes are not seeing square today. So let's just bring that down to there. Yeah, that's great. Let's ink around this because we'll have no opportunity to do that later. Once it's stuck down. Oh, you won't get much ink out the lid. I um, labelled all my oxides yesterday. I don't have them in a display or anything like that. I just keep them in a drawer. But every time I want an oxide, I have to go through the entire drawer looking at each one. And of course, it's always the last one that you look for, isn't it? So um, I've, I've labelled them all. Where is it? There. Look, see? Vintage photo. Which just makes my life that little bit easier. And I'm all for that. So there we are. Let's stick this on. I think this will look really nice once we've got it stitched. So I'm not going near the edge, I'm just stitching a uh, blue in the middle section. There we go. So I need to get my thinking cap on really as to what, what else we're going to do with these beautiful things. Mm. 
a little bit over that way. There we go. Right. So I laid out these butterfly stickers, didn't I? They might be a bit much for this. Might be more than this can stand, but let's have a look at them. See what I've got. A lot of goldy ones. That's pure gold. That's that's actually quite nice. Yeah. I mean, they're going to be shiny, which you've got to just live with. What's that? It's a sideways on butterfly. Purple. Ooh, look at that one. I mean, that just doesn't go, but it's gorgeous. I really do like these pure gold ones. I quite like the idea of that. Just being there. That's a nice one, isn't it? Wow. I, I don't know. I think that they're taking over. That's nice. That's going on there. Yes. That's the one. Oh, there's nice teal ones and everything. I can see why I bought these. Just, I've never, ever used them. I haven't had the packet open till this very second. So there we go. We have, oh, don't say it. Did I put that away? No. Phew. Um, yeah. So, you know, if we have to use a sticker on every item, well, there we go. We've started off well. Let's see if I can get the sticker off the back end. Maybe a scalpel is the order of the day. These can be tricky little suckers to get off. There we go, straight off with the scalpel. Now, I want this to not be where I want to stitch. And I'm going to stitch around the... Yeah, there we go. That's lovely. Give it a good burnish down. Really good burnish. So, so pretty. Right, so bear with me. Oh, was I going to put any lace on that? Good question. I quite like the idea of the lace. What do you think? I think so. Let's just pop that along the top. It's just ordinary cheap crochet lace. Well, I say cheap, it's not cheap anymore. Uh, nothing is. But, you know, relatively inexpensive and less so again if you buy it from Ali. The only thing is you have to, you know, don't wait till you run out to buy off Ali because it takes yonks to come, it really does. Right, let's just trim that lace off there and off there. Okay, and I am going to stitch around there, but I need to get my sewing machine up and, oh, look at this, it's so pretty. It looks almost bridal. Um, I've got cream thread in my sewing machine ready to go so I'm just going to move this over to here and I need to get myself a box to keep all well two things one to keep the finished ephemera and two to keep the remnants in so I'll pause you there get the sewing machine up do all the stitching that needs stitching and I'll see you in a sec okay so I've stitched around there I just stitched around the pattern paper I didn't actually stitch around the cream because I, I just thought it looked nice like that. So all we've got to do now is stick this pocket closed and 
we're there. We have our very first, well, I tell a lie, I did have a practice first. So it's our second. I'll show you the other one. It's got a sticker on, so we're doing all right. So that just needs to go up there. And I'm just going to clip that. Just to make sure that it takes, it will take. I don't have any doubt about it, but just helps it on its way. Some up here. There we go. So there's our pocket replete with sticker and using stuff from the box, the envelope, uh, the drawer. Look at that. It's so, so pretty. I hope everything turns out that well. So that's one. Um, and this is the other one that I did using stuff out of the drawer, which I also like. And I put be kind on it. I haven't put any words on that. I don't think it needs any words. So there are our two first pieces of ephemera. Um, and I'll probably actually sell these in lots of 20, 20 pieces, because that's probably enough for anybody I would have thought. I can't go on till I get halfway through the draw because <laughs> we'll probably be halfway through the year by that time. So thanks for joining me today. And I look forward to progressing with this project. It's uh, it's. I think it's going to be excellent. So um, see you again very soon. Bye.